Sagittarius, what is going on? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. To let you know what is going on for May 2019. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's going on, baby? What's going on? Um, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, you can do so by clicking the About tab. There are a few links there. You'll see a hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me again at Scorpion Red Tarot at simply book me first thing you need to do is book and then link up with me okay again book and then link so go to scorpion red tarot and simply book me book your reading and then come back to the page and click my instagram link and link up with me okay if you don't have instagram you can download this app called google hangouts and use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and you can send me a message there and we can connect to do our video chat for your reading on google hangouts all right um, i do prefer to only do video chat readings but there is an option for um, a video upload add-on it's called a video recap add-on so basically if you don't want to get on camera what you need to do is book your reading and then also select the video recap add-on so you can get your direct private upload to YouTube and what you need to do is after you book that reading connect with me on Apple Hangouts or, or Instagram and say hey um, I don't want to get on camera but this is what I want to know and make sure don't tell me what your what's going on only tell me what you want to know and I got you all right um, you'll probably I normally do everything same day so <laughs> um, anyway if you want to send love and light to the page again thank you so much for all of this cuz uh, you know every dollar that you guys have sent all of the support and all of the love when I started, I didn't have none of this. I didn't have this camcorder. I didn't have none of this. And as you can see, I'm sitting here about to read for, for you for, with several decks here. You know what I'm saying? So I can really give you a detailed reading. And it's all thanks to your love and support. So if you want to send some love donations or some love to the page, you can do so. I have an Amazon wish list now that has a lot of wonderful, beautiful decks on there that I'm interested in. And if you want to send some love and light, you can go ahead and check out my Amazon wish list. And there's also the PayPal, which you guys have already been abundantly you know what I'm saying and I thank every last one of y'all that's booked a reading that has sent some love into the page thank you so much because all of this would not be here if it wasn't for you and I greatly graciously thank you so much for everything um so again those links for the um Amazon wish list and the PayPal is in the about to happen in the description let's get into the reading real quick before we get into the reading I do want to mention I did start this reading earlier and then I stopped it because I got interrupted by a phone call but that energy kind of fucked me up a little bit it kind of fucked me up a little bit um it was basically and I think I might upload it right after this reading especially because I feel like that that message was for somebody and I have no idea what's about to come out right now so it might be a different group of people with different energy, I don't know. I will say this. Don't allow anyone to take your power. If you working on yourself and you growing. <laughs> do not allow nobody to take your power. That's all I can say. Let's get into this reading, okay? Let me, <laughs> let me spray some little cleansing spray real quick. Hold on. Let me spray a little cleansing spritz hold on. Because I don't want that energy right here, right now, while I'm doing this, Father God. Alright? We're going to leave that where that was. And hopefully we got something different come out. Alright? Let me cleanse my hands real quick. Thank you so much, Father God. Alright. Let's get into it. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. Happy, joyful, feeling abundant, feeling light, feeling ever fresh ever fresh okay y'all like them juices them ever fresh juices them jones be bomb especially with a little tequila some to quit anyway listen we over here feeling like an ever fresh punch father god okay father so listen we are here in a transitional moment feeling triumphant feeling all glorious and victorious you know what i'm saying we all in our glowful essence father god please give us guidance please give us clarity please give us insight all right towards the steps 
to abundance, the steps to happiness, the steps to a true love and relationship, the steps to prosperity and strong foundation and just everything that we need. Not what we want, but what we need and what you have designed specially for us. You know, take us, help us lead our footsteps to the promised land, what you, the land that you desire specifically for us. With the man or the woman that you designed specifically for us. With the house and the car and the job and the career and the business. Everything. Because what God meant for you is meant for you. Or can't nobody take that. Father, continue to move our feet vigorously towards what is meant for us. Our steps have been paved. Our steps have been <laughs> Plant it for us. Allow us to walk those steps victoriously. Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius for May 2019. Thank you so much abundantly, Father, for all of the messages, for wrapping your arms around us, for leading us and, 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 and keeping us in high spirits. Father, no matter how, <laughs> how hard they try to come and take us down and take us down because they, they try to take us down because they know we too strong and know they can't handle us sometimes it's going to take a village you know what i'm saying but it's going to have to take more than the village because we covered father give us guidance for the month of may for sagittarius thank you oh lord why y'all want to do this to me why y'all want to do this to me patience ambition oh what is this enjoyment and travel all right because i ain't even about to read this out because i already know what this is about because this was in the other spread i'm definitely uploading the other spread so basically what spirit is saying Sagittarius, is right now you don't have any patience you don't have any patience however at the same time you're very ambitious which is what was in the other spread you're very ambitious and you work and diligently try to get yourself together but there's no enjoyment in being alone. Okay? And you want to let that sabotage your travel. You got to move forward. I'm praying to God that the same stuff. I'm sorry. I just need to jump in too. Because it's like even though like I wasn't even going to upload it. It's like it's still coming out. So we just going to deal. We're going to have to deal with it. That's one thing God going to tell you. He's like you can't run through shit. Have you gonna face it or we gonna keep you going see it's like no matter no matter what you want to do to try to avoid where life is headed for you no matter what you try to do to stall it no matter what you do to try to hold on the shit that's not meant for you because you're not finding no enjoyment or <laughs> you don't want to be alone or whatever Listen, you gonna keep going through the same shit all over and all over and all over again. And if you want to keep traveling in the same path, you want to keep traveling in that same path. But you got to keep moving. Either you going to continue to keep repeating the same cycles all over and over again. Or you going to break that cycle and you going to move forward. I need you to break the cycle and move forward. New beginnings. A solid, a solid foundation is being given to you. Make sure that you take it. Don't let nobody get in the way. It's going to be hard, you know. You're not going to like the things that you're going to have to change. You're not going to like the way that you're going to have to, you know, like a strength. You got to be strong. I don't, get, I don't care how people barking at you. Look, I don't care how people barking at you, how they're trying to dominate their self over you, how they're trying to, you know, excessively, you know, Force their will over you. Don't allow nobody to scare you. Don't be scared of having to do shit on your own and not giving into temptation. And that was the other thing that came up in the reading. It's like it's like the person is working on itself moving forward. The person is working on itself moving forward and someone in their energy sees them about to be left behind. And I feel like the sex or the intimacy or this person knows that Sagittarius really don't want to be alone or can't stand being alone or something like that. No matter how forceful they come off to them, it's like, you know, 
this motherfucker ain't going nowhere. And it, and it was like, that was so strong. It was so strong. So you got to be strong. You got to be strong, girl. Because God is literally giving you a new solid foundation. So what if motherfuckers don't want to be left behind? Don't allow them, especially not with sex. Especially not with memories just because y'all been with each other for forever or... I don't give a damn. I don't care if y'all were married, if y'all got kids with each other. I don't care if y'all known each other since y'all was laying next to each other in the, in the hospital. When y'all, both of y'all parents birthed each other. Y'all could have known each other since then. Who gives a shit? If it's someone trying to stop your growth, that's when all bets are off. Don't allow nobody to come through when so much is being given to you at this time of your life. This is what you've been asking and praying for. Don't allow nothing or nobody to come in your atmosphere. Do you see this motherfucker yelling? This girl don't look phase. This one is being overpowered by this person. And then in the other reading, the person was like, the Sagittarius was saying like, something about like, they missed, the, they missed this person being next to them. Why? You miss this person being next to you? Why? Why would you be weak to that? Queen of Swords. You got to know when to cut motherfuckers out and crown yourself. Especially when God has handed you the crown. God told you to sit your sword down for a second. Put your crown on and remember who the fuck you are. <laughs> An angel is crowning you. Remember who the fuck you are. Straighten your crown up. Adjust your crown. Remind yourself who the fuck you are and pick up your sword and cut the bullshit out. You already know what time it is, Sagittarius. And that's why I kept saying in the reading, like, this ain't my Sagittarius. Sagi, Sagi, no. Sagi not going for this shit. Sagi is not going for it. Sagi is not going for it. Thank you. Come on, Sagittarius. You ain't fucking waiting. Okay, there they go. There go the cards. Motherfucker looking at you. Looking at you working. Pray. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Look. Put your crown on. Adjust your crown, baby. Adjust your crown. Adjust your crown. And another thing is, you know, it's time to stop sleeping. It's time to wake up. You done had enough rest. You done had enough relaxation. It's time, if you say you know and you know what you know, it's time to show some action. You know what I'm saying? It's time to show some action. If you look at this card in the other way, you see that window is opening up and the butterflies is coming in. That is trying to tell you, honey, that there's peace, abundance, and happiness and new beginnings on the other side of that window. It's time to get the fuck up, you know? Right now, right here, God wanted you to sleep and rest and think about everything that was going on. So when you wake up and you get moving, you know how to move forward, being smart, being clever, you know? It's time to wake up, baby. It's time to get the fuck up. Adjust your crown. And it's time to get up. And it's time to use that sword. It's time to cut some shit out. Anything that sh makes you stressed, that make you feel a mess, that make you feel weak, that make you feel anything other than the goddamn fiery, sexy-ass queen that you are, it's time to cut that bullshit the fuck out. It's time to wake the fuck up. And it's time to go outside and smell the springtime, okay? The Empress. You have your beautiful kids to take care of. You got brand new investments. You got brand new engagements to nurture. You know what I'm saying? I feel like things might be going good for you in business. Things might be going good for you in your environment. I feel like you have a brand new environment. You guys, um, shit just might remodel your home or just did something. You just went and bought your kids a whole bunch of new clothes and toys and stuff like that. A lot of y'all just had y'all tax time. You know, went and bought you some new clothes. Um, 
I don't think that this woman is pregnant, but I definitely feel like this person has, well, you know, has had some kids. You know? So, I, I feel like right now, you're in your essence. Excuse me. I feel like right now, y'all are in your essence, and y'all are growing. And not only that, like, your rivers are flowing abundantly. Like, you're in good health. You're in good wealth. I feel like you're very comfortable where you're at with it just being you and your kids right now. Temperance. Your balance. You know, you're hungry for knowledge of, 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 of how to continuous, how to continuously, like, self-love and self-nurture yourself. Uh, things that are, and not, you want the knowledge of things that will help you continuously stay grounded in your faith like you are bathing in that pool of, 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 of faith and knowledge you know you are like literally I mean I, I want to say like you 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 bathing in this water you drink the water like this water is so pure and I know that sounds crazy like you wouldn't drink the water that you bathe in but it's like well, clearly, she getting it from the fountain. It ain't the same water she got her damn feet in. But you understand what I'm saying? That shit was filtered or whatever. You get me? But you know what I'm saying? Like, she's in the she's in the holy water. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is, she is focusing on her growing, her children growing, her environment growing. And she's filling herself up with faith. She has so much hope, so much balance, so much joy. You know? Because she know what to cut out. She know what not to engage in. She know when to put the goddamn... um. You know, the garden hose down. She know when to put the hoe down. You feel what I'm saying? She know when to put the hoe down. Because the, the, the yard is overgrown. The uh the vegetables been outside too long. It done rotted. You know what I'm saying? She knows when. She's so balanced that she knows when to stop putting work into something that ain't going to amount to nothing. Because let me tell you something. When you... A uh, farmer, and you go and plant some seeds. Your field workers or whoever's out there tilling and, and dealing with the field and stuff like that, you'll be mad as shit if they sit there and let the whole yard overgrow where you can't even harvest nothing. By the time you find this, finish cleaning up everything, cutting the shit down, every you you'd have missed the whole harvest. That wouldn't be able to feed their family, you know, or or anybody, any of their families. You see what I'm saying? So like. Sagittarius is like, I love myself enough to incentive they keep involving and keep putting in work, 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 work into something that ain't going to grow to my benefit. You see what I'm saying? I have so many offers coming my way. I don't have to hassle myself and make myself look bad and put myself in a, in, 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 in a position to lose. I got too many other offers. I got too, I got too much other shit. Papa off for me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you can't stop my progress for it. In the other reading, you see that man sitting up there looking at Sagittarius, putting that other stick down, got a whole nother one, all right? Got a whole nother stick <laughs> with their world in their hand that they're taking back their world and they're thinking about leaving and moving permanently. And leaving that whole other stick behind and serves them no purpose. And this person is looking at them. And that's why in the other reading, this motherfucker right here, you see him looking at you? The whole other reading, he kept saying, where the fuck you going? You ain't going nowhere. But see, these are the Sagittarius that I know right here. These Sagittarius say, bitch, you not stopping my, you not stopping me from going out of motherfucking place. You understand what I'm saying? You gonna try to stop me. You might delay me, but you're not gonna be that successful. You feel what I'm saying? You gonna stall a little bit, cause this person is mad. This person seen you stop working. You ain't working towards that no more. You ain't got to. You got too many other offers. And this person is jealous. And again, it is here. He, here he is trying to stop. You for moving towards these offers. This person wants you to stop working on yourself. And forget 
your ambitions and what you want to do and focus on them. This person almost wants you to come back begging. Okay. For some reason, this person thought that you would continue to compete. You would continue to argue. You would continue to battle. Listen to all the gossip and rumors. And they thought that you would continue to engage in that bullshit. Even though <laughs> you offered them nothing. They thought Sagittarius was going to sit there and continue to beg and plead and... You know, be in the mix of the shit. You see what I'm saying? But look at this person now. This person's on the ground begging and pleading. You know? Because they want you to fight. They want you to compete. They want you to argue or do something. <laughs> they want you to argue and do something. They, 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 it, they, 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 you, they want you to stop doing what you're doing. To look at them on the ground. Begging and pleading. Because <laughs> now they want to put up a fight. But they ain't offering shit. They weren't offering shit then. They ain't offering shit now. So what's the point of the battle? What's the point of the conflict? What's the point of it? You crying, you begging now because you don't want to have no more conflict. And you, what? See, they thought Sagittarius was going to be like that. No. You the one looking. You the one trying to stop somebody else's movement. Because what they're trying to do is hold the enjoyment. Hold the wand. You understand what I'm saying? I, I purely think it has to do with sex. And the fact that y'all already have a family together. You know? Yeah, y'all got family together. But don't let that be... What is this? A new baby. You better watch yourself. This person might try to trap you with another baby. Watch yourself. This person ain't offering you nothing. This person ain't bringing you nothing but conflict and confusion and foolishness. This person don't want to work on themselves. This person don't want to go nowhere. Don't give them the authority. Don't give them the authority to decide how you travel, when you travel. And to put so much emphasis on the enjoyment in your life. You need to find other things that give you enjoyment. This person's a fucking loser. And I am going to make sure that I post that other video. Because I want you to see it. I want you to see what's going to come ahead. If you allow this person... Had that authority. Sagittarius, May 2019. Give me guidance for May. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Give me guidance. For all Sagittarius and May, deception and envy, I told you. And I tell you that this motherfucker was looking. This person is envious that you were trying to move and leave them alone and go on with your life. And now they're ready to put the mask on to get. <laughs> they're going to put that mask on to get that victory and success. But there's a sense of disconnect and boredom there. So I, like, I don't even get it. Deception, disconnect and boredom. Material and spiritual prosperity. Just like I said in the other <laughs> in the other reading, this person knocked you off. I mean, I'm talking about knocked you off spiritually. Just took you down. Like just just You're not standing your ground with this person. 
and this person every time this person comes around you lose financially every time this person comes into your life you struggle way more than you would have ever struggled if you would have just left the motherfucker alone you not standing your ground when it comes to the situation you know that this person is deceptive you know that this person is envious you have a lifestyle you have a way of taking yourself and a way of living that this person cannot obtain and wants to have and they're willing to put a mask on and be whatever the fuck you want them to be or say whatever the fuck you know so they can give you some dick or give you some pussy that so they can continue to do what the hell they doing and stop you from going anywhere because if they stop you going from anywhere they gotta find another motherfucker hustle do you get what i'm saying oh, okay this person about to put that mask right back on to be victorious to win and assert their power over you. This person is discontent and bored. Okay? Discontent and bored. With this relationship and with you. And I'm sorry to say that. But I'm going to be honest. Because if the person. What type of person would want you to stop your greatness? To focus on them because they see that you're going somewhere else. Because they're somewhere else. If they if they cared that much about you, if you were that entertaining, if everything was that good and I'm not trying to offend you. Because this is this idiot. It's no disrespect to you. Because you're great. This is this idiot. Because this motherfucker's self-worth ain't there. This motherfucker is discontent and bored within themselves because they are nothing. You understand what I'm saying? And this is why they're constantly searching, searching, searching for something to fulfill them because they're nothing. They're empty inside. So there's no disrespect to you. Please do not take it that way. But this is how this person feels towards you in this situation. And you have to look at the hard truth. If it was not the fact in their heart that they felt discontent and bored with this situation, they would be with you every day. They would not be wherever the fuck they at. Where they see you getting yourself together and you growing and you moving on without them and now they want to come back. This person is a coward, is a fucking snake and is a loser. Every time they come in your energy, every time they come in your space and in your face, your money dwindles. Your spirituality dwindles. You feel down and you have more rainy days than sunny days. Everything seems to go fucking wrong. Your whole world is unrooted. Okay? Because you're not standing your ground. Your, th your third eye ain't that. You know good and goddamn well. You know every time that this person comes around. Everything goes wrong. Everything is knocked off balance. Everything is knocked off balance. All, your, all of your, what is this? Foundations and achievements. All of it. All of it. Everything that you walked hard for. Everything that you walked hard. <laughs> no fulfillment in wishes. Every time. And I feel like this is something that Sagittarius has to learn. Yes. Because you're not choosing wisely. You keep choosing the wrong hand instead of moving forward. You cannot. Why? And that's the thing. Why would you not give other people that are actually really worthy a chance? Because of this loser. Or because you're comparing people to this fucking loser. That's a fucking loser. Ain't worth shit. Give me additional... No. Mm -hmm. Give me additional guidance. I'm sorry. You got to continue to move forward towards your ambition. I know you tired of waiting. And that was one of the things. It was like the waiting game. I feel like, you know, Sagittarius is tired of waiting. But the only reason why you waiting is because you giving this person too much power in your life, baby. You wouldn't have to. But yes, you is this. It's you, Sagittarius. You are deciding to keep yourself in this lack of prosperity and spiritual value and, 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 and not choosing wisely and fucking up your wish fulfillments. You're inviting this into your foundations and achievements. You're not standing your ground. Do you see what I'm saying? If evidence is the Sagittarius or the person dealing with the Sagittarius. And like I said in the other video, I love y'all. Because I love y'all, I got to give y'all the heart's truth. I can't sit here and pussyfoot. 
and, and, and not tell y'all what I'm honestly getting here because that's not helping you. I can't be one of these videos like, oh, they're coming back. Oh, they love you and everything is this, this, and that. No. If the mother, why would you want somebody to come back that is like this? This person don't want the best for you. Why are you allowing this person to have authority over? Why? You're better than this, baby. You are better than this. It's time to travel forward. It, it ain't going to be enjoy. It ain't going to be no enjoyment right now. Because it's, it's bumps in the roads. That's for you to learn. You take a different road. You could take a look. You could have took a different road that was a shorter route and it was smooth as hell. It had no bumps and potholes and shit. Okay? Sometimes we gotta go through the dark to get through the light, but don't let that shit stop your ambition. Time creates fine wine, but at the same time, a long time can ferment. You know what I'm saying? And rot shit. Just like I'm talking about that uh that garden out there that was overgrown, the weeds was overgrown, there wasn't nobody tend to it. The, the, you know, the harvest got spoiled. So too much time can spoil all of your investments. Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes people got to understand like they complain because they being impatient because they want something to come into your life. But are you blocking it? Who you mad at? You can't be mad at spirit. You can't be mad at God if you... You know what I'm saying? You're not choosing wisely. You get in the way of your own wish fulfillment because it matters of the heart because you can't get your heart together. You got to love yourself, baby. You got to love yourself. That's the only way that you're going to know to choose yourself what's best for yourself and your heart. You're not going to let nothing get in the way of your foundation and your achievements. Everything that you work for and knock everything off. <laughs> you keep going over this cycle over and over and over and over again and God gonna keep letting you. He don't keep letting you. You keep on <laughs> you keep on letting this deceptive motherfucker around you. You keep on. You won't be traveling in the same circle over and over again. You'll be like, I thought I went through this already. You did. It's time to go through it again because you still ain't on your damn lesson. You still playing the fuck around. Nobody got time for this shit. Because you still mourning something that you need to let go of. It's dead. It's gone. Pay your respects and move the fuck on. Fuck you keep going. Like, you gonna go every day? Instead of worry about the living, you too focus on the dead? You're alive in the living. Pearl, hidden, hidden knowledge. You're not getting the picture. You, you're not getting the picture. You want to keep reliving and stay in the dead. That's what you want to do. You want to stay in mourning, stay in mourning. You're trying to hold on to the dead. You're not getting the true message. You're not getting it. You're not getting it. You're not getting the sweetness of the situation. Do you see what I'm saying? You're not getting the hidden knowledge. You don't see the blessing in this situation. God is creating something better for you. It's creating a blank slate for you where you could create whatever you want. And you could really be happy. This whole time, you ain't been happy for how long? And every time this person is being removed out of your life, you like... Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to be alone. Because I'm not having no enjoyment. Because I'm not satisfied because I'm alone. You'd rather stay in misery. And keep repeating the same shit all over and over again. And be angry every day. And be miserable every day. Then to be alone. And to find freedom and happiness in the living. You worship in the dead. Think about what I'm saying here. Are you really being the pearl of the sea? Are you really cracking open that shell and seeing the gift that's inside? 
are you missing it? Yeah, you missing it. You completely missing it. This is sweet victory for you to create whatever the fuck you want. This is what you've been praying for. This is what you've been asking for. Hmm. You've been asking for real love. That's real love? I don't think so. I don't think so. Give me additional guidance about this situation. Make a bitch sick diarrhea. Don't act like you don't see us. You need to move forward. You have to move forward. This is the fool. This is another travel car. You got to move forward in faith, baby. You got to put the, the, the key in the ignition. It's time for you to take off and just go. Whatever situation that you're feeling and that you're dealing with right now, the first bout of unhappiness after this video, as soon as this situation make you happy one time, that's your sign. It's time to go and follow what your body is telling you. You're not happy. Follow your intuition. Be a fool. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You see how free this person looks by their self? Take your life back. Follow your heart. The high priestess again. And search for that hidden knowledge and search for that inner truth. For that hidden wisdom. The high priestess is someone that has secluded herself from the world. That is enjoying her solitude. Because she looks at it as peace and serenity. So she can study and get her life together. Be the fool. <laughs> and choose yourself and go get your life together. Go find your peace and your happiness. The wheel of fortune. Once you do that great fortune to come to you. Like I'm trying to tell you. Once you do that. Or everything that you want is going to come to you. But you got to stop communicating with this motherfucker. Do you hear me? You got to. You got to stop communicating with this motherfucker. The more and more you keep indulging in this situation. The more and more you shoot your own self in the foot. And that's one thing you got to understand. Ain't nobody, listen, <sighs> ain't nobody said that being alone would be easy. But who said that being alone ain't fun? Shit, I listen to. I'm finally feeling the consequences of my action. The person is dealing with Sagittarius is saying that they're finally feeling the consequences of their actions. Good. What else does this idiot got to say to Sagittarius? Piece of nothing ass shit. Our connection still affects me. We know because you've been watching them. What else you got to say, bitch? I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Whoever y'all fucking with, I don't like this bitch. How could you still love me after all I've done? I don't know. I'm asking Sagittarius the same thing too. I don't even want to hear nothing more you got to say. Being a part is life changing for me. Okay, bitch. I don't care. I don't want to hear nothing more you got to say, you stupid motherfucker. Here's shit you got to say, bitch. And this could be reversed. This could be what happened to Sagittarius. So this could be what Sagittarius did to somebody else. And this is, and, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but please don't take it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? But if this is you, this person right here, you need to get yourself together. Why would, how do you feel okay with yourself wanting to hold somebody else back for their happiness? Just because, and you already left this person. You left this person in search for something better. Because in the other video, you said the grass wasn't greener. So you left this person in search for somebody else because you see this person going off the greatness, trying to do something better for themselves. And because you know God is about to bless them with something new, solid. And, and, and like a, a financial blessing, really. You know that this person is about to be blessed. You don't want this person to go and be blessed without you. You don't want this person to, to go anywhere. You don't, It's like you almost like you don't want this person to go and be happy. Like, I don't want to be with you, but I just, I don't want you to be happy with no one else. 
So I just want you to be by yourself and be miserable. But I go off and do my life and do whatever I want to do. As long as you're miserable, I'm okay. I just don't want you to think that you can go off somewhere and be happy. What type of shit is that? This is too much. I'm not reading all of that. Sagittarius, what do you have to say to this person? And the sad part is Sagittarius really does love this person. Really does love this person. And I don't even think that they're together. Because this person said the grass wasn't finished, so that means that they over they, they're somewhere else. They're not together. Wait until y'all see the other video. Y'all gonna understand what I'm saying. You gonna see the real true energy of this person. Because in that other video, it was the true energy of this asshole. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. Hopefully nothing. It says, I need to go... Um, I need to go my own way for a while. Good. Good, Sagittarius. I'm glad Sagittarius is bossing up. Because, you know, I'm reminded of your scent recently. I'm being guided to pick this up. You've affected my life significantly. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions now. Please know this. This was the same thing that came out. And I was trying to figure out why the hell it said that. It's really hard for me to open up. So, yeah, like, Sagittarius isn't being open to them. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. So, I mean, clearly, no one was perfect in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Sagittarius definitely feels like they weren't being open in this relationship. You know what I'm saying? That they just, they're not a very affectionate, a uber affectionate and emotional person. You know what I'm saying? Is that the actions? That was the thing I was trying to figure out. Like, what was the actions? Mm -mm. No, I want to pick this up, so whatever. So let's find out real quick, because... What, what does Sagittarius do? What is Sagittarius trying to take responsibility for? I just heard cheating. But let's see. Someone that was dealing with a Sagittarius said Sagittarius cheated on them. That might not resonate for everybody. The world. Sagittarius feels like they stopped their world for this situation. The Herman in the reverse. And they said that they're not, they're not going to do that shit no more. They're not holding themselves back no more to allow someone else to, 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 to thrive. Like, I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions right now. Please know that. Sagittarius feel like they stopped their world for this situation. They stopped their world and <laughs> they stopped their world and didn't allow themselves to be seen. You know, didn't allow themselves to be seen in the way that the world should have seen them. They felt like I feel like they regret that. Like they they regret that. They regret that. I'm thinking what I'm trying to say to you. I feel like that's something that they want to say. I need to go on my own for a while. They're reminded of you. You know what I'm saying? And, and and this person affected their life. I feel like this person affected their life in a way. Sagittarius is telling them to never. I, I, you affected my life and you showed me that I would never hold myself back. I would never not do what I've achieved and set out to do for myself, for nobody. Watch the other video because you will understand why Sagittarius is saying this. I'm going to try to make this short. Because I want y'all to see that other video. Because this spread will make more sense to y'all. And y'all will understand why I am so angry. Give me guidance about this person, I guess. This seven of chalices. This person was confused. This person has a lot of options. This person had more... Then a few options. And I feel like this person's problem is that they continuously make bad fucking decisions. You know what I'm saying? That they don't know their tail 
from their mother, their head from their tail. You know, they don't know their head from their tail. And I feel like they just, they just make bad decisions over and over and over and over again. They just don't make wise decisions in their life. You know what I'm saying? But they're trying to wisen up now. I definitely feel like this situation opened them up to realize to what's going on. Nine of Swords. Because this situation, I feel like what this person did, this person selected the wrong cup. And it's a nightmare on Elm Street. You see what I'm saying? This person had more than one option and they selected, they thought the grass was greener on the other side of the fence, which they said in the other video as well. And they selected, they made the wrong choice. They made the wrong choice and they want this to stop haunting them mentally day in and day out. This is not even just a nightmare on Elm Street. This is like... Whoever taught Freddy Krueger how to be Freddy Krueger, like, this is something that it's almost, it almost mentally paralyzes them every day that they wake up and they realize the decisions that they made. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like they have sex with someone that they don't even want to have sex with. You see what I'm saying? Give me guidance and love for Sagittarius. Only for Sagittarius. I do not want to hear nothing about this other person. Please give me guidance for Sagittarius. In love for me. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. Grief. Jesus Christ. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. He doing what he doing and you doing what he doing to teach him about him doing what he doing. But both of y'all look stupid. So instead of you getting away from an idiot, you going to follow behind an idiot and do the same thing. This ain't your soulmate. I don't give a fuck if y'all was married. I don't give a fuck if y'all got kids with each other. I don't care how long. Like I said, y'all could have been in the same fucking hospital laying in the bed right next to each other. Y'all could have known each other since the hospital. Do you understand what I'm saying? But that ain't your soulmate. And it's time for you to take action and soar. That's not your soulmate. Stop sitting up here feeling like... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I saw something. What was that? Healing. You are not allowing yourself to heal. Recognize and truly understand. You are mirroring an idiot. And it's lowering your vibrations now. Making you look like even more of an idiot. But try to mirror this fucking fool. This is not your soulmate. Why are you even dealing with this person? I don't give a fuck how many kids you got by them. I don't care how many years. I don't care if y'all parents know each other. I don't give a shit. You looking real foolish out here, Mo. Like on God. Come on now. You held your world back. And now that you trying to get yourself together and, and you enlightened and God's trying to give you new lessons and you trying to achieve everything that you put on the back burner for this person to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Now this person want to come back and disrupt your home and want to come and offer you new puppies and a new baby. No, but, you know, here comes some new puppies, bitch. I, I, we don't need no new additions into this motherfucking house. Fuck you mean? Spe like, how the fuck? Like, how the fuck? You not coming to, you not coming with no money. You not coming offering nothing, but you coming to the house with something that's going to be a liability on my house. Niggas, you gonna be buying a dog, child? Is you like what? That's still how the fuck somebody? I bought you a puppy. No, I bought you two puppies, and you already sitting over there with your. Oh, sorry, you already sitting over here with kid. You already got kids in, in in the house and bills and shit that you taking care of. And this motherfucker coming in here with two more. Like if you don't get the like, it's a kind gesture. Get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck out of here. Want no motherfucking puppies? Stupid bitch. I told you this motherfucker was empty. Person ain't got no goddamn soul. You keep on fucking with somebody that's gonna, they ain't got no soul. They're gonna feed all of that. 
poison, all that emptiness right up into your paradigm is going to knock all your shit off. And then you're wondering why everything is going haywire in your life. Because you fucking with an empty, soulless creature. Every time that you lay with this person, this is what you feed into your paradigm, into your temple. This person is secretive. This relationship has been haunting you. You can't get y'all. You can't get around. You can't get away from. You can't. It's like a looming plague over your life. You need to guard and protect your mind, honey. And this is a warning sign. This is a warning. And I said that in the other video. This video is a warning sign, young. You about to fuck your whole life up. Everything that you've been working for. Everything. You're going to let this person drag you down. Every fucking thing. I, I, I almost, I like, I really can't even. I don't, I, I don't, I can't. I can't. Sagittarius, give me some one more guidance for Sagittarius, and then I'm letting this shit go, and I'm letting y'all see the other videos, because I want y'all to look at this one, because the other video is the warning. God forgive them, they don't know what they do. Sagittarius, love yourself. Love yourself. You playing with the dead. You playing with an empty beam. An empty beam. That don't even know how to give anything to itself. He's he or she is nothing. Hollow on the inside. And they're literally sucking your soul out every time you have sex with them. It's like they feed off your energy. I want you to look at what you be laying next to. Death. You looking at it? How that make you feel right now? Creeping you out, ain't it? I want you to sit with it for a minute. Because that's what you want, right? Death. You want to play with death instead of coming to the living. And what you want? You know what? Fuck that shit. Let's get to the next video. What is going on, Sagittarius? It is Scorpion Reds Tevro. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. With the remix. All right, to let you guys know what is going on for the month of May 2019. Shout out to all my new subscribers. What's going on with you, boo? What it do? All right, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with Scorpion Reds Tevro, all you have to do is click that About tab. You'll see a few links there. And what you need to do is book and then link. Link, okay first book and then link so what you need to do is book your reading there's a hyperlink there that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again scorpion reds tarot as simply book me go ahead and select your reading and then double back and you need to link up with me so we can you know have our conversation in our live chat okay so my instagram link is right under my booking link you can go ahead and send me a personal and private message and we will connect there on the date and time that you're scheduled if i can get you in earlier i'm gonna connect with you and i'm gonna see if i can get you in where i can fit you in and i'm trying to tell you if i can get you that day i'm gonna get you that day yeah i ask anybody that had to read with me if whatever day you book if i have time i always try to get you that day so um if you don't have Instagram, you can also use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, it's scorpionreds at gmail.com. You can download this app called Google Hangouts, and then we can chat there. Um, if you don't have an Instagram or social media, that is totally cool. We can do that. Also, keep in mind, you can get a video recap, which is an add-on. It's an additional $10, and I can record our whole session, and I can upload it to YouTube, and you can have a private link to our whole experience, and it'll be just for you, boo. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, okay? And also, if you do not feel comfortable with getting on camera to do a face-to-face -face live chat, I do not suggest it because we won't be able to interact back and forth the way that we would, you know, with a video chat. However, if, if for whatever reason, especially for some international people, if um, we can't link up for the video chat or you just don't feel comfortable, you can purchase your um, reading and purchase the um, add-on for the upload and you can um, 
link me up on either Instagram or Google Hangouts and you can send me your question and that way I can send the link to your video back on that platform so you can have access to your video okay so if there's anyone that would like to send love to the page you have two options now thanks to one of my ingenious okay my ingenious clients that I did a reading for the other day which she is just amazing 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 she said hey red why don't you create a um an Amazon wish list, you know, that way if some people want to send you something through the wish list, we can, or if someone wants to donate some money, they can do that, but, you know, create a wish list, I'm, you know, I, I want to send you something on the wish list, so I did go ahead and create an Amazon wish list, it has a couple of decks on there that I like, and thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that y'all have been sending me through PayPal, as you can see, this has grown, grown, and grown, and grown, and grown. So if you want to send love to the page, you can do so. Um, my link to my PayPal and to my Amazon wish list is both in the description and on the About tab, all right? So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Let's get into the reading, all right? Thank you, Father, all right? For, I just wanted to say, hello, nurse. I don't know why. <laughs> Y'all remember Animaniacs? Hello, nurse. I don't know if there's somebody that is in, really in love and feeling some type of way about a Sagittarius woman and she just got them curves, okay? And when they see it, they be like, hello, nurse. Hold on, fire signs. Y'all tearing it up. Y'all tearing it up. Listen. Sagittarius, Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you so much for our abundance. Thank you so much for our blessings, our truth, our happiness, us just being strong, us just being determined. You know, we always just got that action going. We got that fire. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know, we be trying to tame the fire sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we be too hot for people. We be too hot for situations. You know what I'm saying? They don't be knowing about all that. They don't be knowing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Father God, you know, thank you for helping us, you know, learn how to, you know, chill out when we need to chill and spice it up when we need to get it spicy. You know what I'm saying? Give them a little bala. Give them a little dance real quick. Show them a little two-step real quick. You know what I'm saying, Father? Because you know how we be. Father... Give us some Sagittarius some guidance. Please give us guidance and love, life, happiness, abundance, a love, just, just, just overall fulfillment and just happiness and prosperity and just joy and peace. Please give us guidance towards those footsteps. Thank you so much for giving us that inner peace. And, and, and when we have those moments when people be trying to take our peace, we be like, uh-uh, not today. Mm-mm. We ain't about to play with you, not today. Sagittarius ain't having it. Father, give us guidance. Please keep us in our element, Father God. Please keep us in our greatness, Father God. Thank you so much for all of the blessings you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for May 2019 for my beloved Sagittarius. Thank you again for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Let's get it. Roll Let's get guidance today. With Sagittarius in May. All right. Thank you so much for your presence. Please give me guidance, Father God. Thank you so much for all your messages, Father. Please give us guidance, Father. Thank you so much for all your messages and all the blessings. Thank you so much. All right. Trust. And I fell out in the reverse, but we won't. What does it say? When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the right time, until the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Oh, come, come on. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Come on. But somehow I ain't trusting that shit. <laughs> What you mean I'm wrestling in the unknown? Now, I don't want to know what the hell going on. Like, what's going on, man? No. What you mean? <laughs> Trust. All right? Trust. All right? Again, you know, it's like, I feel like this is about self-love. It's like when you just have faith and you just, like, feel abundant in self. Like, you wake up just feeling... It don't matter if it's raining. It don't matter if you got the money to pay your bills. It don't matter if your kids getting on your nerves today. It don't matter if the bitches at work be trying you. You know what I'm saying? When you invite that self-love in and take over, 
You know, the right actions arise at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until the timing is right. Let me rest until, let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. You know, so it's just trusting yourself, loving yourself, knowing that you at where you at. And you're going through whatever you're going through right now. You're just like, you, I don't even understand, but you know. All this is for a divine purpose, a divine reason. I'm just going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep my head up. You know, I'm going to trust what's going on here. And, you know, everything going to work out. You know? So, God just wants you to trust a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I'm going to tell you. He don't never make tasks. <laughs> he don't never make tasks easy for his, his warriors. You know what I'm saying? He don't never make his task easy for his warriors. You know what I'm saying? Because he got to make you tough. He got to make you be able to, you know, react quick when unpredictable things happen. You know what I'm saying? You got to be diligent. You got to be courageous. You got to be bold. You know? Got to be a problem solver. You know? What's that? The two of wands and the death card in the reverse. So, you know, it's like... You know you got to move forward to a whole new world. You know you got to move forward. You know? And it's like you just, you, you're looking, you looking at what you got ahead and you looking at what you got to leave behind. And you got somebody looking at you, looking at what you looking at. You know what I'm saying? Somebody watching you about to make move. <laughs> and I feel like that one that you leaving behind is that person that is looking and watching you looking at your new world about to make moves you know and this person is trying to stall the depth to a situation because they see how you working on yourself like you work you working and you moving ahead like you really they watching you do this you know what i'm saying tell me what else is going on with my saggies the saggies about to motherfucking do the damn ditty looks like to me oh the tower oh okay huh it's something unexpected about to happen something unexpected is about to happen but it ain't gonna be you know what's about to happen it's not gonna be as bad as you think because your foundation is still intact it's just a storm it's just a storm, and you actually got people coming to help you. Cause like, bitch, look, they, you know, it was storming around East, bitch. This storm about to come and rock. You better close your windows. Y'all bitches get the fuck out the windows. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I necessarily think that there's people coming to your house throughout the storm because they know you got that crown over top of you. They know you covered. That your 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 foundation is sturdy. Like they trying to run to you in the midst of this storm. But I see you looking in the in your window. You looking at them. You like I know y'all not. I ain't invite y'all. I ain't ask for no uninvited guests and shit like that. So I I I think that that might be what it is. An uninvited guest. And I think you don't really see this coming. This it's, it's gonna be. You gonna be, <laughs> and you gonna take that motherfucker blindfold off, and you gonna sit that motherfucker swords down, and you gonna be like, hold the fuck up, <laughs> like <laughs> this shit about to knock my ass off balance, and I ain't about to do it. It's about to knock your chariot. It's about to knock your ass off balance, and it's gonna fuck up your progression moving forward, and you don't trust that shit. Mm. Oh, judgment card in the reverse. Yeah. Okay, I'm reloaded, bitch. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Look at them looking at you with they looking ass. Look at them looking at you. With they looking ass. Because what you doing? Looking at this new world. 
This wand, which represents this person, all of your business, trying to be a witness to you dipping out. Because they tripping out. And you slipping out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't doing it. Okay? So I feel like some, this, this mother sucker. This mother sucker here. This mother sucker here could possibly be a Scorpio. Could possibly be a Scorpio. They see you about to move forward on the vast lands that you put in your world in the palm of your hand. And you about to get ghost. They about to be French toast. And they say, I ain't ready to, 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 to shrivel up and die yet. I don't want you to just call the death to this situation with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. Hold on. So they see you doing the Sagittarius. They see you doing you and about to lead them in the dust. And they're trying to avoid that. Because guess what? Sagittarius have been working, 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 working day and night. Ooh, ooh, baby. Okay? Sagittarius done made how many? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five pinnacles. You know, and they're almost finished with this one. This one not quite done yet. And they got the other three done. So it's like they're achieving certain things and they're putting their plaques on the wall. I feel like ever since Sagittarius put their mind on the prize, they put their eyes on the prize and decided to leave fuck shit behind and go forth into greatness. It's been certain things one by one by one that they thought. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what? It's not that they thought that they couldn't do. They always knew that they couldn't do it. But they never had the time. They didn't have the time to put the work into their self. You see what I'm saying? So once Sagittarius got a hold of their life, meaning that world, and left something behind that was getting away of them working on themselves because as you can see this person is trying to get in the way you know what i'm saying because they don't want an ending they 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 trying to get in the way of uh, of of i was about to say scorpio they trying to get in the way of sagittarius making their forward progress <laughs> okay and it might possibly be in a sense of it may possibly be in the sense of someone abruptly arriving at your door in despair, okay, distraught, disheveled, okay, and you looking in the window like, hold on now, I know it's storming, but I'm protected in my castle, God is over me, okay, I know I'm good, so that might be you or your children, or you and somebody, then you and somebody. No, that's you and somebody up in this 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 thing here. Looking at these other people coming up to the castle. Like, who the fuck is these people? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't asked for no uninvited guests or no un. So there might be some uninvited guests or a uninvited guest. The uninvited guest might be that person that's down there, and this could be your family or something coming up there. Like, uh uh, bitch, a storm coming. Get this motherfucker out your house. Get, you don't see this shit? Bitch, get this... God, get this shit out your house. So this could be your family. This could be your friends. This could be the universe. Making something abruptly. Change that you ain't see coming. You know? Because there's an uninvited guest. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because there's somebody for sure that don't want you to move ahead, that don't want you to work on yourself, that don't want you to finish perfecting yourself because they see you are moving fast. Like, God damn, I ain't, it ain't even been that long. It might only been eight months or something. I, I, it ain't even been that long. How the fuck did this person build their self up like this where they done achieve that much shit? And that was everything that they said that they was going to do when I was around, and now that I ain't around, and this person trying to get get me out of the way, they not distracted, and they just out here, like, they don't need me. Like, they don't even need help with this shit. 
Like I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> There's an uninvited guest. There's an uninvited guest, and a storm is brewing. A storm is brewing because God said, um, "We need to cleanse." You know, normally when, when, when I love storms, you know, because I feel like. I just like to open up the window. You know, I be just like these people. Be in the window in the middle of the storm and shit like that. Looking at nature because it shit be so beautiful to me. Because it's like God cleaning the, the ground and washing off all the impurities. It's, you know, feeding the, uh, 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 the, the ground and everything so that, you know, the plants can grow. It's doing two things at one time. It's nourishing and cleaning all at the same time. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like this storm, this unexpected event, this unexpected occurrence, this unexpected guest, okay? And these people coming to the rescue, ever, ever the people coming that you didn't expect, and, and it's like, who the fuck are these people? Why the fuck I didn't I didn't expect no guest type of shit? And you end up putting your swords down and taking your goddamn blindfold off because you're like, hold on, bitch, let me see what the fuck y'all talking about. What? You know what I'm saying? Because I need, if it, just in case I need to pick this saw up and have to use it, I need to see who the fuck I'm about to fuck up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I can't even make my mind up about what the fuck I see going on right here. If I can't see straight, I, I can't even see what's going on. Let me take this shit off so just in case I got fuck somebody up over here. You see what I'm saying, Sagittarius? You like, hold on, bitch. So it's either some, your family or your friends or the spirit, or your spirit guides or somebody coming to your rescue like bitches a storm brewing and it's in your house, bitch. And it's in your house, bitch. It could be a Sagittarius woman or it could be a Sagittarius man or the Sagittarius woman, Sagittarius man has somebody in their house that, you know, don't need to be there. And everybody like, hold on, bitch. The spirit is moving me. They come and help you, bitch. You see what I'm saying? Take this blindfold off, bitch. It's time to get the guillotine. Okay? It's time to fry a nigga like a sizzling. You feel what I'm saying? It's time to fry a nigga up like a sizzle. Okay? Because listen, this whole situation about to knock you the fuck off your feet, it's going to knock your faith off. It's going to knock your skates off. You ain't going to be able to slide and glide where you're going. You understand? You're going to have to walk a long, hard path. Okay? You know. You're Sagittarius. Sagittarius like to move fast. They like to glide. They like to slide around. You know what I'm saying? They like to get their skate on. They like to dip and dodge. You know what I'm saying? They like, like to move around. But it's going to knock you off your skates, baby. <laughs> this going to knock you off your skates. You better take that motherfucker blindfold off and see what you're doing. <laughs> Make some right decisions right around this bitch. You feel what I'm saying, Sagittarius? You see what I'm saying? You might need to go back to that well of uh, that spiritual knowledge and wellness and, and healing. And you better get some of that water and sip on it. You better drink on it like a drunk. Get your belly real full. And you better take that blindfold off. Because I think you might be having to pick up one of them swords. Because it's, it's an intruder. It's a misuser. It's an abuser. Okay? It's something going on. A storm is a coming. <laughs> a storm is a coming. Yeah, it's going to knock you off your skates. Yeah, like I said, it's going to knock you off your skates. That's the chariot card. It's going to knock you off your skates. You ain't moving nowhere. Where you thought you... This person this person was like, where you thought you was going? Where you thought you was going? Where you thought you was going? You ain't going nowhere. Where you thought you was going? Are you see Sagittarius? I see. Mm -mm, this ain't my Saggy, cause I know good and damn well Sagittarius is not about to lay here. It's not about to lay here and let somebody motherfucker stop them from doing what. That ain't nah. Uh uh. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. Like I said, you about to be shaked, rattled, and rolled. Shake, rattle, and roll right up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You better let self-love. Listen, this is, this, this right here is self-love. 
This is faith. This is honoring that self. This is like, you know, balance, hope, dreaming, you know, like almost flying with the universe. This is letting somebody take that joy and that hope and all of that. All of that, all of that that you were putting into yourself. All of this, listen, all of this, all of this that you, all of this that you were, this is allowing, you allowing somebody that has ill intent because they see you bettering yourself. They see you healing. They see you growing. They see them slowly being left behind. Look at them. This is you allowing them to win. You better take that motherfucker blindfold off and see a storm is coming. There's, a, there's somebody that is not allowing you to go forward. My Sagittarius, I know my Sagittarius is not about to let no one have that power. It's time to take that motherfucking blindfold off and, 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 and pick the sword up. Because <laughs> they're not trying to let you go nowhere. They ain't not trying to let you go nowhere. Alright? Judgment in reverse. So, this is the thing. When, when you get called to judgment, you know... And when it gets time for you to look at the man in the mirror or just be judged in a situation, do you think, like what do you think, what do you think God would say or whoever your Howard power is say, or even if you self answer to yourself, what do you think that you would say to yourself? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this is someone that just let someone that was all the way on their path. All the way on their path. Let them take a serious fall from grace. And you better take that blindfold off. The storms are coming. You better have quick judgment. You better have better judgment than that. You hear me? You better take that blindfold off. The storms are coming. Not my sage. <laughs> my sage is not going to do nothing. But it's okay because I got a tinkle in my spirit that is telling me towards the end of this reading, Sagittarius going to boss up on somebody. Because that ain't the sage I know. That ain't the sage that I know. What this is, is the warning. Because this is energies that you can, because now we know. <laughs> Now we know. Take your blindfold or a storm is coming. You ain't about to sacrifice shit. And you not about to allow nobody to have no authority over you. What I tell you? I told you. <laughs> not my saggies. I yeah, cause I'm about to get angry because I don't even play that shit. Don't play with my fucking saggies. Like I'm not even playing with you on everything. They trying to stop your new beginning. Mm-hmm. Sagittarius said, I'm not sacrificing shit. I'm not sacrificing my peace and how hard I'm working on myself and all of the progress that I've made. So far, you can suck every inch of my narrow fucking ass. You don't got no authority over here no more, bitch. Try again. Try to fuck again. Who gonna stop my new beginnings? I am shaking. I am shaking. <laughs> Oh, I am shaking because this is making me very mad. Oh, my gosh. Take that fucking bra. Look, accelerated motion. They trying to knock your third eye off so you can't see. Why are you sitting there with a blindfold on anyway, Sagittarius? Why? Is that a new trend or something? People walk around with blindfolds on? What, what is this? Why, why the hell would you... Why was you sitting there with a blindfold on with two swords on? What sense do that make? Oh, I'm shaking. Ooh, let me calm down. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They trying to stop your movement. They said you was going too far. 
So they trying to knock your third eye off. So you don't trust your own intuition. You don't trust your own faith. You don't trust your own growth. You don't trust your own knowing. Solitude. <laughs> they didn't want. Listen. Solitude. You were studying. You was focusing on yourself. You was growing. <laughs> oh, buddy. The waiting game. Hmm. Someone was playing the waiting game thinking that you was going to break your solitude for real, for real, for real. So they're like, oh, okay. I'll fix that. I'll fix that. They just waiting. They ain't letting you go nowhere. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's find out. Let's find out what this person is dealing with Sagittarius got to say. Right off the top. I've thought about you a lot lately, clearly. Because you've been watching Sagittarius. You've been watching Sagittarius. This person has been watching you, Sagittarius. They've been watching you. And they've been watching you waiting and taking care of yourself. <laughs> they've seen you reading a book. About to finish that book and close that chapter. Do you understand? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. See, this is the thing. So I understand, listen. And I said it in a Scorpio reading. And I'm going to say it here. Because I'm not about to play around with nobody. If it was somebody that you were with that broke your heart, especially if it was a third party situation. Because this person said the grass wasn't greener. So if this person left you thinking that the grass was greener on the other side. Why in thy fuck would they think for any second in their pea brain ass mind that we would let your dumb ass come back over here and interfere with our greatness? Excuse me? Wanting someone to make a sacrifice? Somebody that would get in the way of you growing and moving forward anyway sounds like a narcissistic somebody that needs to go see a psychologist. Because why would you want to stall someone else's greatness for your own self-loathing purpose of gratification? You're evil, sadistic bitch. Okay, whoever this is, because like I'm telling you right now, I am not even in the mood like this, this shit right here. Uh uh, because this is not the Saggy I know. Saggy not going for this shit. And I'm telling you right now, Saggy not going for this shit. Your intensity frightens me and allures me at the same time. Oh, so that's why Sagittarius, that's why this person ran away, because you don't be going for no, <laughs> you don't be going for it. What I told you, Sagittarius don't be going for, so this was a weak person. Sagittarius was too much for you, wouldn't tolerate your shit. So you ran away thinking that the grass was greener. And because Sagittarius is not kissing ass, and they're focusing on their self, trusting their self, moving forward. Now you want to come over and try to fuck up their, mm -mm, I still love you, don't nobody give a fuck. You were, I, I'm reminded of you constantly. I bet. Because the grass wasn't greener, remember? Listen. I understand that y'all be watching these readings and stuff like, oh, are they coming back? Are they coming back? I'm not that reader that y'all need to come to looking for fairy tales, fallacies, and foolishness. I'm going to kick you to real. Because if I see some bullshit on this table and I see y'all down in my comment section acting like y'all still want this shit, I'm going to ask you, is you crazy? You understand what I'm saying? Why would you Why would you want to be with someone that want to stall your greatness when they left thinking that the grass was greener? Love yourself enough. And Sagittarius, Sagittarius tell me what's popping off. Because I'm trying to tell you, Sagittarius ain't going for this shit. I'm trying to tell you, Sagi, what's going on, baby? 
what's going on with this person whoever this person is over here it doesn't matter if you the Sagittarius or if you the person dealing with the Sagittarius whoever the person is that is moving forward my moving forward crew what you got to say to this person <laughs> thought the grass was greener what you got to say to them baby pop off baby what you got to say boo you're not going for it a lot of signs are pointing to you lately hmm <laughs> I just got caught up in the moment with you. Hmm. Hmm. You are irreplaceable. I miss the feel of you next to me. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions now. Please know this. Hmm. Hmm. So maybe the Sagittarius. Oh. You were never far from my mind. Okay, listen. Because it does say here, I mean, listen, it does say here, Sagittarius. Listen, I don't know which group of Sagittarius this is right here. But this does possibly see like it's there. They're going to come and let this person possibly stall this person because y'all have some type of something. The storm comes. You're working on yourself. But this person sees you leaving. They're watching you. About to leave. They said, oh no, I don't want this to end. You out in the field, working in the field, working on yourself, working hard work on yourself. Then the storm's coming. Something happens abruptly that you don't see coming that makes you sit your swords down and take your blindfold off and knocks you off balance and knocks you off faith. It stops you from moving forward. And then you get called to judgment. And I don't think you're going to like the results of what's going to come to that. You got to get balanced. No one shall hold this much power over you. But you stop that sacrifice and give it to yourself. The, all that hard work and sacrifice that you were given to build yourself up. You see what I'm saying? When you are allowing your authority to be taken away. When you were working so diligently towards yourself. When your new beginnings have ended and been stalled. Your whole movement forward. Has been stalled. You know. Solitude. And the waiting game. Is what this is about. It's about you working on yourself. Learning what you need to learn. And waiting for the results of your hard work. You can't. You can't allow someone. You giving someone too much authority too much authority. A lot of signs is pointing to. So Sagittarius, if you want to know why things are not working, why things are not going, why all these tower moments keep coming in your life, it's because you are allowing someone to hold you back. And all the signs is pointing to that person. So if you want to know why your forward movement, why things are not Moving forward, all of the signs is pointing. You see what I'm saying? A lot of the signs is pointing to this person. And a lot of signs are pointing to you for allowing this person to have too much authority to cause this much chaos in your life. You should have never put that blindfold on with this with anybody. Period. You got caught up in a moment with this person. However, this person is irreplaceable, you know. Regardless, this person is irreplaceable. That's cool, you know what I'm saying? But the problem with Sagittarius is why they can't. And, and now I'm, I am feeling like this might be spirit. And your family, your friends, or somebody. It, it, I, I feel like this person that you feel is irreplaceable don't need to be there. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's why these people is coming. Like, look. And that's why that storm is coming. That's why that storm is coming. And this shit, something's going to come and knock you off your shit. It's going to make you have to put your goddamn swords down and take the blindfold off so you can see. I miss the feel of you next to me. If the feel of someone next to you is going to stop your new beginnings and everything that you've been working hard for, it's worth it. Because you need somebody to be next to you. <laughs> you don't feel comfortable with you being next to you. <laughs> I'm trying to take responsibilities for my action now. Please know this. What the fuck does that mean? I need to know what that means. You're never far from my mind. I need to know what this means. Hello? Oh, yes, baby. 